Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight on the show. Please welcome, for the first time ever, Poway High School alumni wrestler, now MMA fighter, Jesse Taylor. How you doing? I've been really looking forward to this, my friend. It's a historic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a historic. Um, Episode because you're the first guest that's actually from Poway and wrestled really in the system, the Poway uh curriculum. First Poway wrestler, yeah. Oh, this is this is yeah, yeah, monumental. Where did you go to uh middle school? Like, how did they recruit you? Oh, yeah, it's uh, I love getting into these stories. I know, I love so wait. uh. Uh, I didn't start till later. A lot of power wrestlers start very young. Uh, we had the Slammers program when I was there, so I didn't start. S- slammers never existed. I'm just letting S- you know, Slammers Slam- never existed when I was there. Wasn't there at all. It, we it didn't, didn't even come have the, the 90s, facility. Right? Yeah, yeah, in the 90s, yeah. Yeah, we had Slammers. I think, uh, well, Factor and uh, Josh Varios. Factor. Yeah, they yeah. kind of, their parents brought it over mm-hmm. in the 90s. Anyways, uh, wasn't into that. I was uh, good at basketball, mm-hmm. football, good at the ball sports. Mm-hmm. A lot of energy, ADHD yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, a freshman year comes around, and uh, uh, well, here's a good story. Brandstetter was the Brandstetter legend. Shout me. out to Wayne. Wayne Brandstetter. What yeah. a what a, le- what yeah, a legend. We're so lucky to have him. I got Poway blessed, legend. Yeah. Blessed to uh, have him as a coach. But uh, we were playing basketball, and Robert Marks uh, would foul was fouling me all game, and I'm like, please. Stop fouling. Oh, me. this is like third or fourth period. This is that the the wrestling period. The wrestling period. But I wasn't in. I was a freshman. I was, uh, you know, everyone wrestles in Poway, so mm-hmm. I've definitely heard about it. But oh I was, yeah. Uh, I I was considering it, but I didn't know where I was going to go in life yet. Right, 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 right. And right. Uh, I wrestled a little, of course, in eighth grade. Actually, I take that eighth grade. I wrestled. What middle for, school? Uh, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks too. Twin Peaks Rams, yeah, baby. The, the brown, the brown and the yellow. Not at uh, what's it called? The metal, brown and the yellow, baby. Met, metal Crooks. Not Meadowbrook. Not Meadowbrook. Yeah. No, no but Twin Peaks. It's, wow. It's is there the still. Circle K still there? There used to be yeah. a Circle K. In the corner of a. Uh, yeah, in Espola? the corner, in the corner of Espola. But then we used to eat pizza. Was there a pizza yeah. spot? The pizza finally went out of business. Oh, we used to right? go there all the time. Out. Do you know? You know the. It's back. Okay, uh, it's but back. we used to go there for lunch. For lunch. Yeah, but continue. Damn, so, so you, uh, you went yeah. to Twin Peaks and Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. I started there. And uh, you went to Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good. ASB president. That's awesome. Right here. ASB president. ASB. <laughs> really? That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So a- eighth grade, uh, 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 wrestled a little bit, nothing too serious. And freshman year, comes who was around. the coach? Was Ross O'Brien there? No, I knew Ross. We know Ross. Ross, Ross is my is boy. Ro- Carl's. He's a Carl's bad coach now. Is he really? He coaches. High, he's totally Ross O'Brien. Carlson. Shout out to Ross O'Brien. Ross O'Brien coached man. me when I was in sixth, seventh grade. Yeah, he's been around forever. He was coaching then too. Yeah, he's. It was Mr. Shields, but we all know what happened to Shields. We won't bring it up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you're laughing, but we know. You know what happened? Shields. I don't know what happened. Yeah, to Shields. something happened. I just okay. remember he used to j- yeah. uh, <laughs> jock around during PE, and his armpits would foam. Yeah, where it would just oh, a sh- white bubble of foam, Ew. and he would just be. Running and I'd be like, dude, that's disgusting. But Ew, he's he's a so man. Dirty. I love Mr. Shields. Yeah, I, I got yeah. crazy. Well, anyway, so uh, eighth grade comes, our freshman year comes around. Robert Marks mm-hmm. fouled me all game. I was real nice. I said, please stop fouling me. Yeah. Kept doing it, and he kept doing it. And I took him. He was running. I took him, and I didn't know wrestling, and I threw him over me. You did a double. Uh, it was just I totally just grabbed him from the back. I just oh a suplex, like a su- it was a su- suplex. suplex, yeah, it was a suplex, but like just a sloppy yeah. natural suplex. I got in some trouble, but that PE coach, 
Told Brandstetter. Uh, told Wayne Brandstetter. <laughs> Wayne Brandstetter wrote, Brand, they're, they're there. Yeah. Brandstetter was, they're in the vicinity. They were coming back on one of their runs. Yeah, yeah. Brandstetter caught wind of this, kind of saw this whole debacle go down. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, was talking to me. Because um, I couldn't be, since I was in that PE, I couldn't be in the other PEs where the boys, yeah, but you know what all that, the kids you, wrestled. But, you, but you know what that did to Wayne, though, right? Oh, he loved it. So he got <laughs> in trouble, and he, he sometimes taught uh, the detention. Oh yeah. Or he was, you know, uh, after school yeah, he yeah, sometimes yeah. ran it or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was there and we talked and I was just I knew what I was going. I'm like, "Oh, I want to go out for wrestling." And uh, you know, it's the Poway, you know, uh how good the Poway program is, you know, a testament to the Poway program. Uh, yeah. Started my freshman year. Uh, I loved wrestling cuz I went out and, you know, football, baseball, basketball, yeah, was good. Yeah, yeah. wrestling, I got my my butt kicked. Got my ass kicked. Uh, I'm like, I came back and I thought in my room. I'm like, what the were you one thirty? What 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 weight were you? One thirty five. When I was uh, younger, I'm I was guessing one thirty five. One thirty five. Okay. 135. See, but then did but my my, ju- my junior year went one thirty five to one eighty nine, and you know how it is. If oh, you're you small, beefed up. You're you small up. to big. It's the best. Because I was gonna say, man, yeah. like I was watching some of your matches last night on YouTube, and I'm like, you were like a real slender dude, like real agile and yeah. slender. Yeah. So I was one thirty five. Skinny, one, skinny. One, yeah. One one thirty five <laughs> to one um, eighty nine. Okay. So. Uh, it was my advantage because I was smaller. Yeah. And when you get small to get big, it's yeah, the absolutely. You keep your speed. Yeah, the yeah. big guys are easy. Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, and I, I got really good. Uh, kind of took me a while, but then I, I fell in love with it because I couldn't understand why I wasn't good, and I stuck with it. And senior year, I really came into my. Did own. you go off season freestyle you, Greco-Roman? Yeah, and that's how you get. Yeah, that's what Wayne calls you, right? He, he calls you during the summertime. Did you guys? Go to, <laughs> didn't you go up here at Rosemead too? Oh, you don't! Guys, you why'd you us? bring up? Don't! Why'd you have to bring up Rosemead? Oh no! Man? You know Rose. Yeah, we no, go up there in the I, summer. No, no, I had a, I had a rival there, Michael Kalmara. He was a stud. Yeah, and it's an, another one of those <laughs> things where I beat the kid during the summer. You know, because mm-hmm. you go there to the you know Wayne will drive you up there. I beat him, and then he ends up beating me at. He ends up placing all three years or four years at state. Yeah. He beats me his freshman year, second match or something. But Rosemead, I have. Ro- yeah. There's a little bit of. Wow. Uh, so you have, you know, you know oh Rosemead. yeah, yeah. There's did, a. Did, did he take you up there to Because re- uh, we'd go to Orange County for competition, so he'd take us in the van. Yeah. What Thursday, the yellow van? Dro- yeah. We'd oh, drive, that still was running. It was still running. I caught the t- so I caught the tail end of the old school, so it was great. And uh, yeah, he, he would pick us up. Every Thursday and then on Saturdays off season, yeah, I played football too. The next day he'd come pick me up at my house and we'd go to wrestling tournaments. Okay, so that yellow van, I just remember he would, we would just oh, all great. bundle up in there, sunflower seeds, and then he had a Bruce Springsteen tape, born in the <laughs> born in the USA. I remember that. And I, do you remember you, that? And he would yeah. just put that on, and then it was always and one. His stories. His story, but there's Legendary. always one guy getting it. Yeah, the guy sitting shotgun. Oh yeah, yeah. but hold on, let's oh, go back yeah. to Twin Peaks because you started later. Yeah, I didn't even want to wrestle. Yeah, I was in I, sixth grade. Mm-hmm. My friend Brandon Wetech <laughs> yeah. was like, "Hey Lee," I go, "Yeah, he yeah, goes, your we need you, man." I go, "What? <laughs> we need a sixty-five pounder." So it was there was a meet that day. I had a weigh in. I didn't never <laughs> wrestle in my life. It was at Meadowbrook. Yeah, went over there. I don't know how or why, but I ended up being the kid. I don't even know. I just naturally <laughs> did doubles. Yeah. Guess what? Guess legs. who was there? Who? Scouting. Brand setter. Yes. Of course. He would so, go to the, he would so, go to the dual meets. I remember. So he was, was there. And then a Shields picks me up like a trophy, <laughs> and I'm in the system, Shields man. Shields is Meadowbrook coach. No. no uh, uh, Mr. Twin Shields Peaks. was Twin Peaks. Oh, but, I didn't but, know that. Yeah, yeah okay. man. And so I was, I was on his radar, I think, six. Yeah. Then. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, continue that's, with it. That's how, yeah. And then you have a faci- the Is there a facility you have there now? Or like a whole. In, I, I train at the uh, 10th Planet System. So Yeah, shout out to Eddie Bravo. Yeah, you know Eddie. I actually yeah, yeah. was up here sometimes. Here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I tagged mm-hmm. with you. So, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, I train. And there, there's a school in Poway. I used to have a school too mm-hmm. in uh, uh, Poway that I taught at and run. But uh, I'm kind of still a nomad, you know. I kind of train. Yeah. Go. Where I have to go for the fights, uh, I had a couple chances to open oh, up. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna get into that. Yeah. I'm still on the wrestling. Wrestling. I'm yeah, still on the wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. Um, so, um, anyway, so we got really good at Poway, kind of junior senior year. Yeah. From going to all the off season, from him taking me in that van. Yeah. Every Thursday, and because uh, I, I just started getting good. I had you wrestle state champs. Really yeah, yeah. Champ. Okay, let's. We talked about five counties, right? It, five so counties. when I was there in the '90s, it yeah. was the it was basically like state. Yeah. 
we both State. placed in that, right? Yeah. I placed fifth, second, and third. I placed. Yeah. And you placed three years, didn't you? Yeah. I placed I placed two years. I got uh I got fifth and fourth. And where was it ago. held for you? Uh Fountain Valley. Me too. Fountain Valley? Fountain nice. Valley, yeah, yes, sir. That's um, great. Yeah, yeah Fountain, Fountain Valley. Valley. And we talk, We mentioned the Baird brothers, right? Yeah. I was. I was, the youngest I, brother won state. My he was two years younger than me. The youngest, youngest one. Mikey. Paul. Paul. There I know. Okay, three. I want to get into Paul. Paul. Was a kid. I, yeah, I want to get into Paul. Yeah. Okay, so Paul Baird. I didn't know. The last time I saw the young Bairds. Yeah. They were at five counties. On the side, they were this big, yeah. and I'm like, oh, I guess he has two <laughs> younger brothers. Yeah. And I knew Mikey. He's the oldest. My, no, no, it was Dave and then Mike. Who was the one that fell and hit his head? That in the I shower. don't know. That Did you I, hear that story? That, no, no, I, I didn't know. One was of the it Mike. Bird, it wasn't Paul. I know it was one of the older brothers. I think yeah. Was one of them had masters. Brand said would tell the story. Was he a one twelve pounder? And he was in the shower and he slipped and i don't know which one but he brad said would tell the story you know he's yeah, the master of yeah 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 all these stories these crazy wrestler That's crazy, stories yeah and he'd go be careful guys because he would say the Baird brother the Baird he slipped brothers. and hit his head in the shower yeah yeah well anyway so that so so i remember the the paul right and the other kid but then year like obviously to in today's age i looked up you know i look up poway videos i'm like oh he's state champ yeah he won state paul, the youngest one he won state. i think he won it See, he might have been two years. You know who he beat? Varner. Yeah, he beat Jamie Varner. Olympic gold medalist. Jamie Varner? Paul Baird beat, yeah. Jamie Varner? Jamie Varner. The co-co-assistant coach of Penn State. Yeah. And that blew gold my mind. Me- gold medalist. Gold medalist. Yeah. But Olympic that, gold that medalist. blew my mind. Be, be gone. I remember that, uh, him, yeah, he beat Varner. He beat Varner, yeah. In the, it was crazy. Did you wrestle on the he, same team same as him? Same team. He was, two, he was a sophomore and I was a senior. Paul, and then his older brothers were a couple years older. But uh, so, yeah. w- so Dave and Mike were still like he, they'd go and they, uh, not really. They're still a little bit older. So they're, they're older, older. Yeah, yeah, but now my son, which is great, wrestles at Poway Slammers, the kids program. So it's like a Poway reunion, you know. And I see all these, and I see Baird. I think I believe it's Dave, and he comes with his son, and he's a total wrestler dad already. He's coaching oh, his kids my, like five you know, years old. You know old. what's weird is. First of all, this what is the explain what the Slammers program is. The Slammers is. is the kids program, and it's a feeder to their high school program. They start at four years old. They got a four year old, and then they have this too. We never had that. You see this? It's not only the Slammers. Yeah, it's two. There's the elite. They're called elite, and they go three nights a week. And there are kids that are even better. Like the Slammers kids are already good. Yeah, and the crazy, crazy good kids are on elite, and they're drilling like college wrestling. They're practicing well, didn't they just have a 106 pound state champ uh this year right? Poway? yeah 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 that alvarez kid. or yeah, something like I, that right i don't follow but uh yeah i remember yeah he, he won and he was a. Uh, i've seen him in there um do, and then you have you have a they have Poway has a training facility right so yeah they, they, have you seen the doc they have a doc perry doc mary uh doc monday training so i wrestle okay, in your room. i'm just letting you know yeah i wrestle the old room gymnastics but they they changed it. We I was just gonna say we wrestled in the gymnastics yeah, room. Yeah, where it was the a ropes. narrow mat. We didn't have this professional faci- UFC facility. Yeah, and this, t- tell them the story about Doc Monday. So when I was in high school, I caught the tail. We're the old room. There was this old guy. He was alive there. He'd come yeah. watch with the cane. Yeah, the cane. Yeah, around, yeah. He would- no, no. I've heard. You know what? I was hearing about that guy since when I was around. Yeah, Doc. Some just old old guy. Old Loved doctor. Wrestling. Who used to wrestle like in the 20s or yeah. the 1900s or something. <laughs> yeah, or something. He was like 103. And died. he'd be like, yeah, you know, wrestling taught me a lot. Yeah. And, uh, I want to do a lot for this sport or whatever. But he... He comes... So he would come here. I'd see him at the dormant. So he'd uh-huh. start coming a lot. Mm-hmm. And Branson would say, hey, this guy loves wrestling. And he passed away. I don't remember if it was my senior year or shortly after. Yeah. And he donated millions of dollars to the Poway Wrestling. And, and they built this gigantic gymnasium. Yeah. Like basketball gymnasium. Yeah. But just for wrestling. With stands in there, like a little bleacher set. <sighs> Jesus. It's gigantic. Really? It's like the, bigger than college. A and weight room. You mentioned the Hall of Fame. You, is there a Hall of Fame? Still the Hall of Fame is there. Is me and You're Rich, on, is me and Rich and Rico yeah, on there? Yeah, you guys are and on Sean there. Malia? Yeah. Like, I what? think there's a picture of you. On top, because I'm back in there, and I always show my my son the the wall of fame. And, and it's uh, going by years. It goes by years. 
I should even look in my. No, it's okay. That's there. just wow. I didn't. I thought they forgot about they, me. No, yeah. it's, it's they still go by years. Yeah. And it's uh. I you know, won masters. Hey, at least. Yeah. I got masters. So you and you win masters or place in state. You get yeah, all. Yeah. Okay. Wall um. Forever. Now, now but how, it goes forever. What there's do you mean? A lot, there's, there's a lot a, of there's a lot. There's a lot of people since the seven eighties and. I like the old ones in black and white. And oh, right, right. Those were up there. And, and somewhere, there was one that was like drawn. Yeah, didn't guy. you win state? Did you? Team so win? I, I uh, 99, we won state. But I was a wow. Fort Rio Palace. I was Varsity B. It was my sophomore year. Your B? Bar, my sophomore year. Okay. Oh. So, because I was still young. Right, right. And that's a whole thing, too. And we'd go back and forth. This uh, guy, Ben Akuna, on challenge. I was still pretty young, but. I still was up there, you know. Tell them how that system works because that was implemented back when I was there. And, and the varsity B kids. It was kids, the challenge. Right. And mm -hmm. the varsity B kids will go beat uh, the, any kid from any other school. They only lose to the Poway well, kids. it's because of Poway. Because Poway is so strong. So the yeah. second string Poway kids Which is will whoop beat ass. every other whoop person ass. there is. Yeah. Still yeah. a badass. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. So that's varsity B. And so I, how and would then that work? Because uh, when... When I was around, it would be uh, Toretto would be yeah. like, hey, meet me. You have to go to the the gym, go to the wrestling room at this time. Yeah. Then I make sure you have your wrestling shoes on. Yeah. And then the, then I would have to wrestle the A guy. Challenge him. No, I, this was not challenging. This is when um this little guy, Tony Matusi, he, this is when it was I 98 heard, pounds. Yeah. Tony Matusi was this Italian little rock. <laughs> Did he win state? He took fourth. Fourth. He was supposed to win it. Yeah, yeah. But he was graduating, and so uh, Brandstetter and Toretto would be like, "Meet me. Go. Make sure your shoes are on. Meet us." This is before practice. Yeah. So I go, "Oh, okay." And this is when I was. They were grooming me to be the senior. I mean, the varsity. Right. Uh, one hundred well, pounder. The varsity B yeah, guys turned yeah. The, the and so we would duel it out for like an hour. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then he would be I so mad. It. He would, cause. I would. I, I was like. I took him down a couple times. I didn't beat him fully, but I took him down a couple times. And then he'd go, "You're just like your brother," because I would headbutt him. I would headbutt him. I would head, he'd, oh my, you're just like your brother. You know, he was like a little rock. But because uh, I, I, I see, yeah, yeah. I see pictures of I. You know, you know who Tony Matusi well, is? Well, I know because of the stories. Oh, Grand Center is the, the masterful, the most masterful storyteller. Yeah, I have I mean, a sad story, have, but did he? He would just. Yeah. I had a sad I have story. A sad story too, yeah. Sorry. Well, because I'm the one that always choked at state. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we got in. I have one of those stories. We got in. A, so mine was the year. This is that we, we won every single. I don't know if you heard of it. Every single dual meet. And we lost. This 2001. Is Reno, even Reno. 2001. No, we, and it, it was 30 years straight. And we lost a dual meet that year. We still won CIF and Masters. But well, it was, the old, it, it was that meet? year. We lost. I was on the team. To who? RB? I went on the RBV. Remember that? It was a little, Rancho Buena Vista. Rancho Buena They're Vista. maroon and gray. 2001. It was, and Brad said it was pissed. So it even goes more. Oh, my God. There's a whole so backstory. State. The, you know, we met everyone's partying after state. Brad said it cracks down. One of the guys got fourth of state. Matt Cook got expelled. From Brad from, from Brad From Brad Stetter. Under the McCook, but it was a, he was mad because that was the first time in years. It was a very controversial team. In, in a to lose a dual meet in the you know division. Well, explain to the viewers and listeners how how long extensive our undefeated dual meet record yeah, was. That's thirty seven years. It's or the something? it's the best something school. Crazy. Well, see, I have masters. We haven't lost. I think going on forty we never years. Lose. Never, never lose. lose. Never lose. Never lose. And dual meets like interconference. Ne we only lost once, and at one time we like since seventy eight or eighty. Yeah. Something crazy like that. They never lost, and the only time they lost was in two thousand one, my senior year. And I was on the team. Rancho it was a weird, Buena Vista? Rancho Buena Vista beat us by one point, and Brandstetter switched the lineup around. And he shouldn't have done that because the guys, but he was so nervous about this. It was a really crazy Who time. Who did they have that was such a threat? They had the whole, remember the Holsey brothers? Maybe no, Lionel? this is it. No, this is after. Uh, yeah. I only know one guy. Lionel, Lionel Holt, they had the Holseys. I know George Monty. That's the guy I wrestled. He was a 103. He was the. They they Monty. had some guys. They had they yeah. just they did put together a solid team, and mm -hmm. we still beat them in tournament play. Was and it we, at Poway or RBV? It was at RBV, and we had all the old legends there. I mean, it was hectic. There was drama after this thing. Like, went what down. do you we mean the legends there? Like Byron was there. Byron was there. We uh, uh Byron too later. Was Dale Hanover still around? Dale Hanover was coaching. Oh, you know about Dale? We know about Dale. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, we don't have to stud, stud, stud wrestler. He he took third, but he, he got should... it. He got it bad though from some of the the rest. Not bad, but you know. What do you mean? Not bad. Uh, some of the the wrestlers would mess, just mess around. 
Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He was yeah. coaching when I was there. Yeah, he was he was starting like he would show up to meets and stuff. I'm like, and I didn't realize like what is Dale doing here? And then he would be like <laughs> trying to coach. He would be right. like, "All right, Lee, you ready?" Yeah, and then I'd be like, "Oh, I guess he's a coach." Now. <laughs> yeah, that's total Dale. Yeah, yeah, Dale. Dale was great. Yeah, he was coaching Myers. I think he, uh, yeah, he coached all Myers. He's JV. He yeah, still, he was yeah. still he was still there coaching. Tredo still there? Tredo was still there. All of them. Brand, Joe Diaquisto. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know him. We had uh, he was an assistant. We had uh, Brandstetter and Toretto. Yeah, were the main ones. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, but Byron, who was yeah. yours? Shout I, out to Byron Campbell, man. I was on his team. He on was, Byron's. Yeah. Yeah, he was a senior and I was a sophomore. Nah, yeah, he was yeah. a legend. Man. Oh, dude, he was so good. He was so good. Yeah. But I met Byron. So Poway finished. Ended up. Typical, I should have placed yeah. first or second. I placed uh, uh, eighth and sixth. Junior year, eighth, sixth, senior. So both years. So you was, did play. I choked, though. You did place. Yeah, I did place. It's not as not as I should have placed. Oh, but at least you placed. I, I just I just dropped the ball. You at least you placed. Yeah, but most guys. But I mean, I dropped it my my senior year. <laughs> I should have done a lot better. Possibly won it. You know, I was ranked first or second. Yeah. And ended up getting sixth. Where, now, where was the a state meet held for you? Uh, I, I, senior year, Stockton. The old Good Sto- old oh, Stockton. God. Good old Stockton. You yeah. had Stockton. Yeah, Stockton. Yeah, Stockton. That That's so funny they had state there. And it was ghetto back then when we were there. Dude, do you remember how cold and gray it was there? Oh, and shit. just trying to find like practice rooms. It would be some just just dungeon ghetto. of a room. You know what I'm saying? Dungeon. Yeah. Stockton. Stockton, oh, yeah. yeah. We got both of your Stockton. And then they changed it to, to Bakersfield. Okay, that was after the That fight. was after. Yeah. But but Byron, I went uh, first San Francisco State, got mm-hmm. a wrestling scholarship there mm-hmm. after Poway. And then from um, San Francisco State, things didn't work out. I was young. Mm-hmm. I went I went to Palomar <laughs> Junior College. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Byron went there. And that's where I met Byron. He was the assistant coach, and we became buddies. You know what's weird about day. You know what's weird about Palomar is like, okay, so when, when those guys graduated, right? The guys we looked up to that were on our team, right, they would be like you know, Brand Center, they'd be like, oh, Ian Palomar's having a meet at blah, 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 Miramar. And then so us, our whole team would actually go to their meets. It was just so weird because it's <laughs> like, oh, oh, they're wrestling here now. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. yeah so too. we would like support them, yeah. right? You know, it's a lot of the, they're good, but a lot, a lot of the good Palomar guys too didn't have the grades or Yeah, that's fine. On. That's fine. My brother, went, my brother went to Palomar. I loved Palomar. Yeah, yeah And because yeah. of Palomar, well, that's the thing. I had Byron, got good coaching uh-huh. there. And Joe Ismay, I don't know. He yeah. was the Meadowbrook, he's the Meadowbrook coach right after. He must have, I know he started in the 90s, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe his Palomar face, head uh, coach. Pal- okay, so he was there. Yeah, Palomar uh-huh. head coach. And then um, from Palomar, Cal State Fullerton. And, that's uh, a decent, d- good. D- that's a solid D one, D one. Cal State Ford and Titans, Titans. Funny yeah. Titans, like Poway Titans. Oh, so right, I went to Cal right, State right, 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 right. <laughs> <Your laughs> just taking a walk down memory lane with this. <laughs> Dude, huh? This is a trip. It, it's it really. Oh, yeah. I, that's why I wanted you here because I don't care about that. I care. I I I really. Uh, I'm grateful that they're watching. But this is but this is for my own. Yeah. I needed you to be here just so I could. This is therapy to me yeah. because it's like I needed to talk to another wrestler another from wrestler. the same, yeah, from the yeah. same, uh, you know, curriculum same as me. Years. Yeah, well, that's um, what I brought him too. Good translate and probably has some stories, but we'll get into that later. Yeah, yeah. Did, so but did uh, so from Palomar, you went to Fullerton, mm-hmm. and then from Fullerton, did you did you transfer again or redshirt? No, Fullerton. Um, oh, and actually, it's good. You know, I did good. I guess I ended up doing pretty good, but uh, I feel like I was one of those wrestlers because a lot of good Poway guys that do real good at Poway, they don't go on to wrestle or they're done or they wrestle a little bit and they don't do as was, good was, as they should have done. Was Doyle that? Because Cole, Cole Doyle was a stud, right? Cole Doyle was a stud. I wrestled him at younger, yeah. He stud. won state, right? Doyle. He won, a sta- he won state twice. 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 He was okay. a stud. 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 And he had some, he went junior college and he went, he's wrestling at, I think, Naval. So all the Poway guys now go to no, Naval Academy. No, he went to Academy. Oregon. Or is he, he in Oregon? Yeah, he went to Oregon. Oregon. No, no, because I've been watching his. Oregon. Yeah. He's a stud. One, redhead. But, kid, but yeah. when they get into college, it's a different story. It's like you have to be good at on your feet, on bottom. Well, college nothing. is different. whole new, new beast. Yeah. But I really blossomed later. Because I maybe started That's later. Right, yeah. But I got better. Because you got strong. I mean, college yeah. years. I kind of matured, mm-hmm. late bloomer. And I did really well at a... Uh, not well, but I did good in college. D one, you know. Yeah, D one. Uh, All American junior college. Were you Pac ten, Pac twelve? Yeah, I got third in Pac ten twice. 
You did. So, you did. And went to the NCAA. That's a whole so. So let's uh, let's explain to the viewers. So Pac-10, Pac-12, Big Tens. These are like CIF to call. That's like CIF Masters, yeah, right? Exactly. Then you have your national. Now, you have how NCAA. how is nationals? Uh, NCAA is the one is different. It's a beast. It's right? whoever shows it's up. A, it's a beast. Uh, and I was with, with that. That was like was I was real bit both years mm-hmm. match away from placing. So you made it to the blood round. Blood round, both years, oh, and God. just missed it. Senior year, senior year was real heartbreaking because it was so close. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Do you uh, who are do you remember the schools that oh, you wrestled? Well, it's funny too the schools, but a lot of the guys because I was in the MMA years. Years later, um, MMA UFC, I fought yeah. a guy CB Dalloway. But we go back to college wrestling uh, rivalry days. You know, people so don't realize this, but world. Daniel Cormier. Yeah. Jake, Var- you know, uh, the Varners, they all, they all, you know, they are, they were in the NCAA, even who's that guy, uh, that, that, that dude, uh, Hendricks. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny Hendricks. Okla- was my, Oklahoma was State. Years. Same, same years. Johnny R- Hendricks. Johnny yeah. Hendricks. We were different weight classes, but same year. That was, oh, that was your he year. He might've been, so my year or the year after, but same, I saw him all over the tournaments. Yeah. Wrestled his teammates. That's crazy. And, uh, I remember him cause, uh, just his, he was really, uh. You know, he had a showman kind of style for yeah, wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of fans, Oklahoma, they love wrestling. I'm a big fan of John so, Smith and yeah. his uh, program John there. Smith, yeah, Oklahoma State. yeah. Did you wrestle college? No. Okay, so Brand said after I choked, yeah, this and that thing happens like, a lot. A lot of power. Yeah, yeah, I choked. Um, well, I was supposed to at least place two or three years out of that, or I yeah. was ranked second my senior year. Yeah. But I just remember being at the airport and seeing Wayne's uh, wife. <laughs> At oh. the airport, and the way she looked at me, brother, was like I killed. <laughs> it's like I killed Wayne. She gave, oh, she gave me the look. Hard. She gave me the look like I I burnt their house down. Like how, how yeah. did why, how did you why did you do that? Dude, well, I, <laughs> and I was just like I just did. I was just like uh, you know. Brenda, right? Your name was Brenda. No, uh, uh, Lordy, right? Pam, 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 Pam. Pam. Was Pam, it Pam? Was it, it was Pam. Computer teacher. And then the daughters, Sweethearts. Amy, Amy, and... She gave uh, me the look. Oh, Amy and... Yeah, I was uh, always cool yeah, with Amy. Yeah, there's two daughters. Yeah. two of them. I always went to the Christian camp, Hume Lake. Oh, well, that's them. what... I didn't even... T- so, Brad yeah, said yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. At Slammers. Because he's retired. You know, he's retired. I'm like, oh, I don't want my kids. But his grandson wrestles with my son. Brandon said it was coaching him one on one. I'm like, I'm not even going to coach. Wait a him. This minute. Great. Because I know Wayne wanted two... So I know he wanted sons at one point. None of them wrestled. One of them is like an artist. He always tells me, he goes, Jess... He takes it up because he knows me. Yeah. He's like, I don't like what's going on here sometimes because it's a new Poway. It's a little bit different. It's getting different. And Jess goes, you know, I don't know, but he can't help himself from coaching. So he comes in there and he's coaching my son and his grandson. And they're getting one-on-one You know coaching. what? You know what I'm makes like, Wayne so lucky? Wayne is so such a great coach because back then it was like he was so resilient. Oh, I got kicked off too. Can I? I yeah. Me and Rich Salo got kicked off. The team? Yeah, like uh, we went to the Cypress Hill concert. Oh, shit. And you dude, like, I, I smoke. You didn't like smoking I, dope. I, I, I smoke. I, I smoke weed. That I smoke weed that that concert too. But dude, <laughs> you the thing about Poway is you never, ever, ever miss practice. Don't miss practice. Oh, and so, and then practice. some kid oh, started no. a rumor. Check this out. So not only we Did went you to find that. Out the weed? No, 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 oh. no, no. He didn't know about that. Uh, he, might have. he was smart. He was, maybe, maybe <laughs> he knew. Maybe he knew. So it was the Beastie Boys, uh, Cypress Hill. I couldn't miss it. Right. Rollins, Rollins Band concert. A rumor started that not only did we ditch practice, but we were going to transfer to Rancho Bernardo. Oh, no. So, dude, I was walking around well, campus. Of- I already had got kicked off. Did, don't even bother showing up. He's like, you're off. Off the team. Off the team. Oh, and he then, was mad. Did he, used to, he used to drive this golf cart. <laughs> around you know with this fuck the base the poway baseball yeah. you know you know what i'm He's saying you know what I'm, you know yeah. with the jacket mm-hmm. the, and then he would go he'd go so you uh gonna you transfer into rb and i'm <laughs> like and then leave. i'm like he you know like a deer in headlights i go no 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 coach no i would never do that you know why would i transfer to rancho bernardo man yeah. so so there's a rumor saying me and rich salo and uh, maybe one other we're gonna we're gonna transfer to rb and so dude he finally he let it because dude they need it we're pillars that you know pillars, they, you can't go to RB. we're pillars yeah so he finally worried. you know he finally came up to us one day and he goes 
you want to come back? And I go, yes. <laughs> he wanted you back. Please, please, please. What did you kick you out for the concert? What did you kick you out for? The concert? Because we or ditched wrestling practice to go. Oh, he was to, pissed. He was pissed. And then, you know, he, like, he the rats him, come out. He acted off impulses. Mad. He wanted you guys back. You guys yeah. One thing about Salo Wayne, too. he was a great, yeah, Rich Salo, too, which he, he was supposed to, we were both supposed to play state. But uh, he, I think back then, he's better Imagine. now because I see interviews of him. Yeah. If he would have talked to me in the tunnel, like this is at state. If right. he would have just said something like this, I'm just let's just role play a little bit. If yeah, he would have yeah. said, "Steve, I'm proud of you. You had a great, you know, you had a good season. Right. All I want you, for you to do, don't I don't care about the results because the pressure. whole thing so was on pressure. the results. So much There's pressure. So much pressure. Highway wrestling. So, so much, much pressure because you're you're. Oh it's expected. Gosh. But if he would have said, "Hey," and it gets harder, the yeah, practice yeah, yeah. gets harder I, and harder. Hey, just I want you. To have fun. Right. I want you to have fun, and I want you to just try your best, and yeah. that's it. I don't care if you place. I don't care if you don't place. If he would have said that, I definitely I definitely would have placed top three, yeah, top five. A lot of pressure. For that's sure. coaching, psychology, all that. For yeah, sure. I know he's gotten better with that, so in yeah. his defense, Wayne's gotten yeah. better, because I watch, I still, I still watch college wrestling. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're the, we're the best there is, Pat, but we're also famous for state being the best there is, and sometimes some guy is choking. When did Buchanan? Come yeah, they're, in? When they're, did, they're when powerful. Did, when did Buchanan come into effect? Um, so what? Because they was, were never on our radar back then. Bu we had a, we had a, no, who was our? We had a, a Buchanan, but no, we had in SoCal Calvary Chapel, but they're oh, recruiting oh, our, kids. Calvary Chapel. I know Cal about Calvary, Calvary Chapel. That's John Acevedo. John Acevedo. But but they're a contract. Wayne hated it because he'd always tell us. Wait, you know what else Wayne hated? hated it. You know, he hated it. Not only they that, they recruited the kids. You know, not only that, I went to his camp. Oh, as I, I went to I went he to great. I went to John Acevedo's great, yeah. wrestling camp uh, for smart. summer. That was smart. And Wayne was uh, Wayne couldn't say anything because I was at least doing something productive. Yeah. But I knew Did he, he was, quiz you on what no, he no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was. He was. He was threatened. I think he was like. So what are they teaching? What are they teaching you there that we're not teaching you? Yeah. Our way? <laughs> so me and That's, I think me and Rich, know. but it was at Temecula. You know where Temecula is? Yeah. You know where the Denny's is? Yeah. You know, you know where? And they had a yeah. real ground when we were around too. It was a great. You know the thing about um, John is he was a good coach himself. Yeah. He was great. He co he coached Cal Poly too years he, later when I was in college. Not only that, he Calvary. coached um. What's that coach um? It, it was a high school. Evan Wick went there. The Wick brothers went there. Is it the Blair Cat? No. No, it wasn't Blair. It was... Um, California? San Marino. Was it San oh, Marino? Oh, St. John Bosco? No, it wasn't San... Uh, no, I think it was San Marino. Was it yeah. Marino? Or was it, it was one, one of those. One of those schools. Where he built their program up. But continue yeah, with Calvary Chapel. So Calvary Chapel, that was like our, our rival too. They had a lot of state champs. They're a good school. But do you know I about had, Shane and Dane Valdez? The Valdez brothers? That's so the twins. Familiar. So when I was there, this is we had Archietta brothers there. No, this Calvary. is before them. Before. So they had twin brothers, and they always they were like nationally ranked. Were they the controversial ones? No. Shane and Dane, they went no, off okay. to wrestle in college, but they were yeah, the the okay. pillars back then, and that's when they were on our radar. Yeah. Yeah. They but were, continue. So they were a threat. So well, I you know was state state wrestler state champ. So yeah, I, the state champ was in my way. So we would go back and forth like at five counties. I saw him. You Some know of the, the, the quarters. The Calvary. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I think we met in the semis. Semis. Okay. And then uh, the year before, his mm -hmm. name too is Conan. Mm -hmm. Conan Rest Barbara. Conan yeah, Williams. Conan. I'm, yeah, Conan. You don't forget the wrestler's name. Oh, Conan. Yeah. His yeah. Name, Conan and Joe. Yeah, the younger brother Joe Williams. Yeah, they all have brothers. Yeah. All have brothers and. uh yeah, so we, he did it at school, but uh, the main thing, my senior year, what you said, I'll never forget the look, like when you were telling about his wife, oh, the look, we were the first school in 30, 25, it was something, 27 years, um, we still won CIF and Masters, but first school in 27 years to lose a, a dual, dual meet, and it was the most but quiet you know ride back from RBV to Do this you, day. In the van? So it was quiet. God. We had so much the pressure, and then he mixed with the lineup, and he shouldn't have messed with the lineup. No, like tell me the changes he made. Oh, so you know, it's a whole, it's a story. It should be a movie. So he yeah, uh, this could be a movie. Could be a movie. So he's like, he was nervous. He was yeah. nervous, and you know, he was very nervous about the, and he put so much pressure. He's just nervous. He's like, RBV's coming up. He'd always kind of talk about it, and it kind of kept 
that's kind of what's going on now with the. Well, no, and back then they were an average school. It. In the nineties, RBV they were a threat. Know. They had good individual uh, wrestlers, but they weren't a threat the way that you're talking about. Rancho Buena Vista continued. Right, they kept getting better. They had these guys, the Holsey brothers. I had a rivalry with one in, in the what, match. What weights? Upper weights, seventy one. Okay, seventy one, one seventy one. How were their lightweights? They had some good lightweights that you that this guy Juan Mora who I wrestled, ended up wrestling, you know, it's small world, wrestled with him in college at Cal State Fullerton awesome. years later. When Juan did they Mora. get good though? Did they get a new coach? Uh yeah, they had no Marty Nell was Nellis. Guy had the glasses. Said, he wrestled with Brad so. Stetter. I think so. Remember he wrestled on yeah. Brad team so he on the, the wall of fame. And he, he is coached the coach. our RBV. Ooh. Yeah, it gets ouch. deep. It gets deep. Continue, and then, continue. So and they just kept getting better. Yeah. Brent said it was super worried before the season, and we had a really good team, but we were also kind of a team with a lot of. Let's fuck go through the lineup. Let's go through the lineup. Let's do it. Let's who's, so we, who's the one hundred three? Uh, one hundred three. We had the, some of the smart. We had Draper. Mark Draper was one twelve. One three was Patrick Payne. Uh, Payne Brothers. They they can't uh, go wrong with the Payne Brothers. Payne, huh? uh, Solid. Okay. One one nineteen. Andy Kim. Remember Andy Kim? Stud. Korean guy. Yeah, uh, Korean. Yeah, China. Uh, okay. His dad, wrestler dad. So okay. one of those. He looked like he was super okay, jacked. Okay, super okay, jacked, okay. Wrestling his whole life. Okay. About this short, super. Okay, jacked. he was a nineteen pounder. He was our stud. 19, okay, but he was having issues with the RBV kid. These RBV what do, what kids were coming What do you mean these yeah. issues? It, uh, issues with with Compa- not being able to beat him. And he was a state. And he was a got second the year before third, and just couldn't ever put he, it together. But he RBV couldn't beat. Kids he, started beating him. Wayne was getting mad about this. One twenty five. Uh, we had Justin Miller. We had Cradle, but they had these twins in the lineup who beat the 125 and 130 pounder, and we were a little weak there. Then we had Paul Barrett at 135. He's going to win. He's going to win. Um, but he messed with the lineup and put Barrett against a better guy at 140s, ends up oh, he losing. Bu- well, he, he why never, did he bump Barrett? I don't know. He was so nervous. Oh, my God. He was See, so was, nervous about no. this match. It was yeah. the craziest time. He was so, so he nervous. So he bumped Barrett up. He bumped Barrett up, and that ended up later, it ended up costing. He oh, And he couldn't get this guy's number. He's a front head guy. Um, Cause Bear would attack fall. Would attack fall him, and yeah. it, it got really shaky in the lightweights and the middleweights. Oh, and the upperweights, we had one guy Holsey get this too. Our guy had him pinned. Got Holsey, him Holsey, about this. Holsey taps out. Yeah, you can't tap out. You, Tapped out. This they restarted. MMA. They restarted the match. Holsey throws him and pins him. Because he had him a banana split. Which who was Holsey? Our guy or his guy? His guy. RBV. Holsey tapped out. Head and, and arm. Re- wait, head and arm. Nichols had him in legs, who was a good leg rider. Yeah. He had him in a uh, like banana split kind of and Holsey kind of he tapped out say and they said potentially dangerous, restarted him. Holsey goes back, pins our guy. Sick, that's big in a dual meet. I wrestled that's next. That's an added bonus point. Added bonus point. I uh I uh either teched or majored my guy. Good for but, you, good, but, good, uh, good, good, good. But it came down to those matches earlier, and then at heavyweight, we lost the heavyweight match. It came down to the wire. And it was dead. We had Poway guys there. There was a brawl in the stands. Uh, Poway people were crying. All the the alumni crying. Wait, wait, how packed was the gym there? Packed. It's wrestling. Never packed. It was like a movie. It was like Vision Quest, bro. It was. It was. (laughs) I've never seen, bro. We're sweating balls. We're warming up. Yeah. Because Poway, it's big, you know. But it was packed. Every every Poway. The story is gonna be exciting. Every Poway wrestler was there watching. Who was announcing? Uh, I forget who it was, but it was big. They had because uh, my my buddy Rich Salo's dad did it for yeah, Poway. Yeah, well, he did it. CIF. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Salo's dad. Yeah. Malliot's dad did yeah. it too. Oh, Sean um, Malliot. You know. CIF. You know Sean Malliot's dad. Yeah, because he was kind of a part of the program still. Oh yeah, yeah. Booster Club. Man, that's that's my. Those are my peoples right there. The Mal. But I mean, a lot of those yeah, like him, the, the yeah, wrestler dads, they're yeah. all there. They're all watching. So it, it was down jam-packed. to the heavyweight. It, it comes came down, down to the heavyweight oh, match. So much drama. So much drama. So Brad Center talks about to this day. What go, he talks about what went wrong, what he could have done. Like uh, it drove him crazy. And then he ended up having some great teams. I think they uh, one stayed a couple years later. Maybe again. Down so the Junior Yorba and Dobby came after you. I, I still wrestle with Dobby for my MMA training. Um, so but, Ian uh, Dobby? Yeah. But he, he won state. Dob- he won state. He, he was pinned a, his guy in the finals. Yeah, he was yeah. a couple years after me. Yeah. Um, and, until recently, I pretty much use him for wrestling still. God, that guy's a stud, huh? Stud. Yeah. Real good double leg. Just yeah, yeah, bed. yeah, just solid. Low single two yeah, on the sing- right side? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a, a, a stud. Yeah. And, uh, but he, he was a couple years after. Baird was my year, too. He was on the team. He won state a couple years Did after. Did he but... end up wrestling in college, Paul? I always no. wondered that. No. Why didn't he? I don't know. He could have had a full ride to Oklahoma, to Penn. Anyone would have taken. Cornell would have taken him. Yeah. He was so kids. good. So good. 
Yeah. And then a senior year too, we had some weird issues too. We had one of those good, this kid named Hasty, he's a real good wrestler kid, but yeah, kind of yeah. fell off the map, got yeah, into some yeah. trouble. And we lost him, and it was just a weird, it was 2000, it was, I was 2001. Oh, man. And it was just a weird, and it was the first time. We came back, did real good at Masters and stayed even at top five, but uh, we, we lost to RBG that year, 2001. You know what? This is all news to me. <laughs> I thought that you guys Crazy. never, I mean, that was a given. Like, they're not going to lose a duel, mate. And you're telling, first this is all I, I never lost again until that year. It was the only year oh, since then. Oh, my God. So That's, since 1981, you know how that is? 78. 2001, my senior year. Oh, I get shit from it from the RBV guys. Like I, they'll sometimes. Oh, remember to that to this oh, day. They, they you know? bring it up. They bring it up because that was their biggest oh, thing they've ever done ever. Ever. They just put together one of those teams. I'm not gonna. We're they somehow the stars aligned for them. And they put together this great team, and we had a very a great team too. But we had some flaws. We mix, mixed with. Were the there lineup. injury? Were there is there in- is injuries? And then Branson had this crazy philosophy because he was worried. One of our guys would go back and forth. I'm taking off the gloves. So I don't took, need this. He just took all four of them, Sorry. like from 130 it's, to 45s, yeah. and switched them all up. God. And that ended up costing us the dual meet. If he left it the same, it wouldn't have happened. But he was so nervous, and that was the story. I mean, it's a crazy, um, yeah. You mentioned a Poway conspiracy, too. I would love to hear a little more about it. I've heard it. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, with the... Um, the uh, the Poway org, the Hall of Fame thing. Yeah, what, what's is, the conspiracy? Update me on that. Uh, I was hearing too that it's run by they want ri- it, the rich Christians are running it and they have who they pick you know that they have who they oh want as far out. as their Hall of Fame their Hall of Fame <laughs> but but no 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 there's more no there's more to that actually if we're going yeah. down that because don't you think Tom DeLong I mean God the guy's a rock star yeah exactly don't you think he should be the number one guy on there Blink One Eight Two went multi plat I don't know they sold millions of records MTV. I mean, don't you think my, he my buddy Wallace the- too told me that I'm not? Uh, he looked it up, but I wasn't on there either. A lot of Tom DeLonge's not on there. It's yeah, and names I never heard of, and it's, it's yeah, odd. odd. But uh, also, uh, just to Poway, um, Poway, you know, Poway, Poway has some crazy things, you know. Yeah, what, some what, odd what, what, things. What, what elementary school did you go to? I went to Painted Rock. I went to Painted Rock too. Painted Rock. <sighs> you do, you, you went to Painted Rock. Painted, Painted Rock. Who are some yeah. of the teachers? That's crazy. Painted Rock, really? Yeah, yeah Painted Rock. I remember. I live. You know, I lived up uh, Martin. Oh, yeah, Coy. of course. You know where Mar- You know Martin Coy. That's where Clemboss lived. You live Frank, off. You live yeah, off Martin Coy. Yeah, Martin Coy's great. I, I had a house there recently. Off Orchard Bend. I live near there too. <laughs> yeah, those Ranch Hollow. Charles Bridewell, Ranch Hollow. Painted Rock. Yeah, right. Now, did you grow up with this? Since you're here too, you grew up in Poway. Yeah. My house was haunt, like heavily haunted. Was it haunted? <sighs> He he yeah. So so that's really not, I'm well, not so, out of well, my you mind. Too, I'm not talking he, he too was the country part of Poway. Uh, Putney horses. That yeah, part of yeah. Poway. No no explain Poway is like from a Native American name or like Pockway. Or well something that's like not that. and it really means that's the where the water meets. Yeah or something. And yeah. There's some weird thing in the water. You see some of the Poway wrestlers. They're like oh I always got oh Poway wrestlers are on steroids. Uh, right, that's right. We lifted weights. We ate. We had some corn fed. Kids that just something was in our water almost. Yeah, yeah. And it turns yeah. out, Pally, where the water is meat, there is something in the water. Well, um, this is my this is my hypothesis towards it. I feel like you know, going back to the native thing, right? The Native Americans, right. the Indians. Right. I feel like where my house w- stood. Burial grounds. Yes. Was it in, in North Pally by Payne Rock? And no, why no, no, Payne no, Rock? No, no, no. This is okay. So Payne Rock, right? You know, Martin Quaid. It goes up that hill. But Payne Rock's an Indian native. Kind That's of name what I'm itself. saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm telling you, th- I almost got possessed. And your house is haunted, really? Oh, th- I love big, these stories. Dude, big time. I mean, Tell I heard me a, whis- a story. Like, I heard whispers. I I was going. Did you go to um student venture? Were you? Part- I saw some shit once when I was a kid in my house in North Poway, and no one believes me. I'm telling you, I wait, have wait, where, people- where where did you live? Bridal, bridalhood though. There is some stuff in bridalhood because that was old okay, tracks. So, okay. That was all dirt and okay. So bridal water. You're creeks. you're basically my neighbor. Because yeah. Bridalwood's near near Pander, it's like near that same area. Right. Bridalwood's near Poway. Same area, North. But North that Poway. whole area, I'm telling you, That's there's funny, na- there's there's bodies, there's Native American bodies buried. Look, I was sleeping one night. Really? I was seventh, eighth grade. I must have been in middle school. I literally. You're older too. I was held down like. I was. I couldn't. Were you dreaming move. or was it real? No, this was real, dude. This was real. I had Bible verses because back then I'd go to church camp. I would. I yeah. was in the Bible. Good power wrestler. Yeah, I was. You know, I did the typical <laughs> power <Poway laughs> route. You know, with right. the Hume, <laughs> Hume Lake yeah. student venture. You should be in the power. Yeah. So I 
was held like I was held down and I heard a legion of uh, whispers. I've told the story before Whoa. where it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where it was just like, I couldn't Shut move. Up. It was like, <laughs> 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 and, I, <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't, I'm sweating, man. It was like me getting pinned by Brock Lesnar. Like oh. I couldn't move. And I was trying to say, scream Jesus. I can I could only get the J and the E out. I was like, <laughs> you couldn't. Even talk. I couldn't talk. Well, wow, that's horrifying. Yeah, and you were like seventh, eighth grade. You weren't seven, young. No, no, you weren't young, young no, either. No, 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 no. I was aware. I was awake. How old were you? I was seven, what sixth grade. Seventh grade? What? What? Thirteen. Twelve. Thirteen. 12. I don't know. No, no, no you get can't this. tell no, people no, that get age, this, Jesse. Get this. You can't tell people at thirteen. They get make, this. Get made fun of at that age. Later in life, my brother Bobby. Admitted to that too. You know how he Bobby got rid of yeah, yeah. Bobby got almost possessed, but he was near the laundry room to the swimming pool. So it was like where how where was it? Uh, Martin Quaid? It was okay, so painted Where's rock. Okay, so Espolo's here, right? Painted rocks here. Martin Quaid goes all the way up. Yeah. Windy goes, love Martin, Martin right? Quaid. Yeah. Martin Quaid goes all the way up. I love I, yeah, Martin Quaid great. I had a best friend. We used to have oh, yeah, 11 exactly. bites. Exactly. Backyard, There's, great yeah, exactly. I got a rope swing. Uh-huh. Nice houses, nice community, yeah. all the way whining. It was right. up there. It was up in Martin Coit then. Up Martin Coit, and then it go, went down almost to Ranch Hollow. I know exactly where it is. Do you know where that is? I know where it's at. I told so her. Look up it, it connects to Bridalwood in it the does. back there, the creek. Okay. It connects. I used okay, to ride the, my bike the, to Bridal- the reason the why it connects, okay, back when I was there, spooky back I would there. wake up late. Sometimes I'd wake up late driving to school, and I'd be like, God, I have to take the shortcut. So back then, this was in the 90s, I would I, I the got back. the cheat code to that gate there that you yeah. says connects to Bridalwood. Right. And then I would put that in, and the gate would open, and then I would just, I would drive, you know, to, you yeah. know, to the, the back end of Poway. Yeah. yeah. But um, back That's to... Cool. um. My brother, mm-hmm. he was gonna get possessed too, but he jumped in the pool. He had to jump into the cold swimming pool to get rid of him. Baptized. My my dad, rest in peace. My mom, they all even, they all even said like, I'm yeah, about to that, see this house. that that house. So it was, um, yeah, one five nine four four Ranch Hollow Road. Was it on the cul-de-sac Road. and the creek was in the back? Kind of. No, 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 no. It was the one on the corner. It was on the corner off of uh, I don't know. Yeah, Martin Coit. Ranch I gotta Hollow. ask Brian. Orchard Bend. Yeah. Damn, you know your you know your I know Orchard Bend. Dude, you know your streets, man. Orchard Bend too. We had we used to have friends in Poway. Right in Orchard Bend, I just lost every dime I ever made on a house because of a haunted house. Yes. So dude, was the house haunted? Hey, man, how am I lying when your friend you know is talking about real estate I losing money? It's, that's correct. And it's an, dude, and it's and it's ironic. Dude. I mean, the Indian thing too, the native thing, um, painted rock. Yeah, and you, you know, know what? That I never rock. really thought about that. That's just odd. But uh, so you said you lost. There was a real estate. They they got spooked out of their home. It's haunted as could be. It's haunted as could be. No, never told not. me this. It was an estate sale. Yeah, I it just was, finished the whole deal. Yeah. That's why so no. I'm not lying. I mean, my line, Jesse. I mean, your friend here yeah. that drove you up here just said he lost a real. I mean, this is real. It's real. It's real. So like, to what's this the history? Th- I wonder on it. There's, I don't know, but there's bodies there, man. And hey, how about this? Do you think they're buried? Uh, Dude, in the burial I I think so Be- because that that side of the house, it was like all of the bedrooms were on that side. We actually, my mom built a gazebo and an extra room just to have a different part of the house to go yeah. to to, wow. to to kick it in. Yeah, because that side. Put it this way: my parents would park their car in the garage, the same side where the dead bodies are, or supposed dead bodies are. They would run. From the garage, the garage to their master bedroom because they thought they were getting like they're pulling him down. Yeah. So these that's these, crazy. Man. So I'm telling you, I thought that's what you meant as far as conspiracy. I didn't think you're talking about the Hall of Fame. I thought you're we're going to talk about ghost stories. Yeah. Well, well, they are kind of ghost stories. Yeah. Uh, like I know a lot of if you really want to go down a wormhole, like a lot of the Poway people, they just have a weird story. Yeah. Um, go ahead. To them. either they have weird stories where they 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 kind of are doing they're controversial. Mm-hmm. Or it, lately, a lot, I mean, we've lost a lot of Poway people. We, we have a lot of the headlines a lot. Headlines. That, wait, 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 did you hear wait, about mean, the temple? Who, the no, Jewish temple that got shot up? Yeah, that was crazy. I but went that to was, that temple. But that was some that Elliot Rogers up. shit, right? That was like on some just a kid. Just, just went in with a gun. He, he, went to, he went to Mount Carmel. From hey, PQ? Mount Carmel he was from guy. PQ? He got confused. He, not okay. PQ again. PQ again. And so the, he comes in and he uh, shoots up the place. But, you know. Huh. It's just crazy it happened there. Where was the temple located? 
right before the RV border, if you're going out to the highway, was going it near, north. Was it near the plaza? You, you know, remember the church, that old church? Remember the Val Verde? Yeah, Val Verde. Right after Val Verde Park. Okay. Going, uh, but you know where the plaza is, right? Yeah, but a little before RV. Okay. Before that. Before that. Before, still on the Poway side. Uh, mm-hmm. It was it near the Pomerado? Is it near the Pomerado uh, right side? Right before Pomerado. It was before Pomerado. It was up the street from Pomerado. Right by, right by Martin Right by Martin Right, right after Martin Quay. Okay, right so that's Martin where Quay. the divide is. Right. It's like five oh, minutes man. after Martin Quay. Near Stone Ridge Country yeah, Club. Yeah. Near Stone Ridge. And when we, was Stone Ridge is close. Stone Ridge is gone. I didn't. Stone Ridge is gone. Wait, that's haunted too. I don't know Stone Ridge. Why is Stone Ridge haunted? It's I don't haunted. Hey, listen to it's him. It's haunted because you know Stone Ridge. You see it, and the windows are all busted. Like someone must have busted. They have a wood. On the windows, it's all gone. Right, I, I drove. Well, we have to gone. we have to explain to the viewer because we're talking 100 miles per hour. So golf Stone course, Ridge Clubhouse. Country Club, it, there's tennis courts, yeah. there's a golf course. It's a it's a country club. Yeah, country club. And we used to swim there in that pool. Yeah, and they had they, a pool jacuzzi. Uh, they, they had a restaurant. Remember, they had a restaurant yeah, in the back. We ordered cheeseburgers and everything. Yeah, get the food on the the, re- the clubhouse. Overgrown, chained up. Yeah, it's haunted. gone. Haunted. Done. See why I'm I'm telling See? you that whole area, Bridalwood. Green Valley, which is the technical name for that area, Green Valley. Have you heard other stories of it being yeah, haunted? Well, we've got the murders, right? So there was the, the weird uh, stuff. John, the, the, well, the kidnappings. Kidnapping. What well, the Daniel, uh, the guy Westerfield, some Westerfield. weird, a lot of weird. Pal- it went into the. Wait, wait, wait! You, you have to update me. What? Tell, you remember Westerfield? It? No. Westerfield. There are like there are swingers. swingers. There are swingers. The whole story is there are swingers. Some weird. Well, what, what do you mean? There are swingers. They dated at like. Couples and they're swingers. They're having a party. She was upstairs. They're having a swinger party. Where was her? Par- she did at their house. Okay, but where was the, their house located? Saber Springs area. I believe that's where it took Poway, place. Poway. Okay, so pa- Poway, Poway, Poway. Poway. Okay, definitely Poway. Anyways, the guy was charged mm-hmm. with kidnapping and murder. This horrible, weird story. I mean, Chelsea King. That was Chelsea right King too. So another that happened. Oh, there. that's right. There yeah, they, they, they remember they were wearing the she ribbons was for her. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then you do, and then you have uh, uh, which a lot, a lot of unexpected. Well, he was a little younger, like Jesse John. Remember the yeah. old? The, the, he was a red, he yeah. fell over, died. A lot of. Do you, do you guys know a road called the Old Coach? Yeah, we grew okay. up there. We old go coach? party back there. Okay, so back. <laughs> Okay, so back That's when haunted. I was there, okay, this is a lot. This yeah. is like in the nineties. That was really an old coach, right? That was really just an abandoned old dirt road, maybe five houses at the most. And so we would drive down there and just drink beers. We would drink beers. Right. Was it there. wasn't it an old thing in the eighteen hundreds? Uh, old, co- an old. I don't know that. I don't know. There, but right? I just remember old coach. Yeah. Old coach. Had a buddy, had a long yeah, that was great. Yeah, but you guys would drink beers, right? Yeah. Get a keg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old, old coach. Yeah, yeah. Old coach. Well, Sorry, I'm great. just. There's old so coach. much stuff popping it, up. It, you know, it's all built up. Re- million dollar houses everywhere. But Darius. What? All the old all the pro coach. athletes live there. All the Yankees and sports stars around. Yeah, all live in Madeira. Madeira, old coach. All the rich people live down there. In the there? beginning of old. So right when you go into old coach, in the beginning. So they it's developed all built it. Up, all developed. So the there's beginning. mansions down there. Mansions yes. Like you don't even Crazy, oh, like crazy man. Multi, multi millionaire. Back you then, know, it was crickets, man. Yeah, we would drink in the dark pee in was bushes. Was Bridalwood there yet, or just getting developed? Oh no, Bridalwood was there. I had some friends. I was there eighty. Yeah, I was in the eighties when I was there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so crazy. You lived. But originally, I grew up a uh, Holland Road, right? You know, uh, Braxis. The, uh, Braxis. The street, yeah, the street across. From a Brax- Explain up- to the viewers and listeners what a Braxis oh, was. It's the it's the <laughs> it's the continuation high school. The fuck well, up high school. Well, Braxis was the high school that if you got kicked out of our uh, Rancho Bernardo High or Poway, Poway <laughs> if you were like a troublemaker, I went there for three months. It, but they they had a bad rep. Bad like rep. if you went to a Braxis, you were like a bad you seed. <laughs> yeah, you're bad. Yeah. I had to go there, but I had to go there for three months. Uh, yeah, did they have a wrestling things, team? No. <laughs> No, 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 no there was no sports school. There's no there sports, no sports. Braxis. Okay. I mean, you, yeah, you had your own. You learned on your own. Yeah. When you went Is there. Is that up near Pomerado? I, yeah, Pomerado. I kind of want to say it where, was. Yeah, it's all Pomerado. Exactly. Okay. I lived originally there across the street, and then I moved to North Poway when I was like five or six. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, so is was there is there a Aussie's music or Alberto's still yeah, there? Aussie's music. I remember it's gone. Okay, because Aussie's music. When I was a kid, I took violin lessons there. At, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got a guitar but, there. I got okay, a guitar was there. there a Winchell's across the street? Winchell's is still there. 
Okay, so there was a Wenchel's back We used back to then. walk there. But yeah, I used to walk there as a kid from the house. From that, that Wenchel's, Wenchel's, and then the across house. the street, there's an Alberto's. Well, I'll tell you what, that house as a kid, you kid, you don't know, that house was haunted. Of all, it's old houses back there, too. And I remember oh, right, 80 right, people. Right. It's the ghetto now. Everything's run down. The ghetto. Meadowbrook. Right, Meadowbrook. right. But, you know, back then, people frowned upon that area as well. Yeah. <laughs> Even the Denny's club. Dennis, oh, that, Dennis is gone. Wait, 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 wait. Which Dennis? Because no, Ar- no, no, the one in RB. Yeah, RB is open. No, that one's still there. That's still there. The one near El Torito. Yeah, El Torito that one's pot, there. It's a pot dispensary. El Torito's a pot dispensary? Well, no, that was near the the, the freeway over uh, the the underpass. Was uh, there's an El, yeah, El Torito? I remember we, we there. Have the reunions we, there. Yeah, we always have uh, family nights there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. is that Round Table Pizza in the Plaza still there? That's where still AJ there. the Padrotis own it? Yeah. We, but we used to go. Did you guys go to the round table in Poway after wrestling? We'd go yeah, there. Yeah, Toretto. Go there? Yeah, Toretto would bring me there. Yeah, we'd go we there. We had a guy in there and his name yeah. was Diesel Dave. Yeah, th- that was a smaller round guys, table. But there was yeah, wrong there's with them. a smaller one. They had a smaller arcade yeah. area there too, right? We'd go there all the time. Yeah, 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 remember? all the time. I cannot. Yeah, remember all the Diesel time. Diesel Dave? Do, do you remember? Re- I remember this. Do you re- do I remember you, all this. Did man. you have Diesel Dave? How? How do you remember? Did you have Diesel Dave? He was famous in the wrestling. He was, no, you know, um, they called him Diesel. He was hit by a diesel, yeah. and there was someone. He would arm wrestle. He would challenge all the arm wrestle. Would come in from the wrestling dome. He'd say he'd yeah. arm wrestle all of us. How about no, CPK? Do you remember CPK? no, that was I think that was no, that was there. But okay, for your Letterman's jacket, there was right. a place in Power. Did you? Is that place still there? Was, there used to be an arcade there and a Kempo Karate. Is it by the uh, um, liquor no, store? Kmart? There used to be a Kmart oh, there. That's all. There fun. used to be a um, Kmart. I'm that's just letting you know where I'm just. Back. I'm just remembering how I remember it. There was um, a haircut, like super yeah. cuts. Not there anymore. All that's gone. Did they yeah, have a ranchito? Yeah. Uh, no, Not that there. was after. That was after. It's good Mexican food. But. Yeah. Wow, this yeah. is just, it, wow, it, take it, a walk down memory lane. Yeah. I, well, you a, came, I feel like you came up, though, in the prime. I caught a little bit of the tail end, weed, but those are the prime power years where it was still a little country. Oh, little, for little, sure. Yeah. For sure. There was um, even... Um, was it called Garden Road? There was um, Garden Road. Garden Road. In the back, in the and, back. And Garden Road's and, nice. That's considered bad. It's the bad. No, area. but back then it was like the hood. The hood. Yeah. It was like oh, still, and then still, me and my boys would do this. So like okay, because my friend had uh, go to parties. Had a there. fake ID, <laughs> and he go okay. We, there's a Seven Eleven, right? Yeah. And the Gordon's. Liquor. Was there Seven Eleven there? And the liquor store, okay. Gordon's Liquor. They okay, gave right, the kids right. alcohol. So yeah, we would go there. It was near gar- off Garden Road. Yeah, road, right? That's the one. So we go there, we get 40 ounces, yeah. get in my MPV, just park. We'd park <laughs> on Garden Road and we would just just down 40s. 7 Eleven is still exactly yeah. the same it was. The exact same. Back then, they had a Street Fighter. I remember we'd go there. Oh, yeah, the Street so, Fighters are there. The parties there are always yeah. sketchy. Fields. Now, I'm going to bring up a name fields. of a band, Unwritten Law. Oh, yeah. So just That's CPK. Yeah. Out with Wade, the drummer, and a couple other guys. So, Unwritten Law, which all. is a punk band. Yeah. They're supposedly from Garden Road, right? Yeah, they are, right? No? no? Over by Pomerado, maybe. No. I don't know. Uh, but back then, yeah, that yeah. was that well, was came, the whole thing. They oh, came they're up from Garden that. Road. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the gym? Scott the Russo. Russo. Uh, me, and, me and Dave Baird, we'd cut weight there. Yeah. The small Wait, little the RB, gym. The, the little gym. The RB one. The little gym. Rancho Bernardo. Near that 7-Eleven. Yes. That was me and yeah. Dave Baird's spot. Well, that gym wasn't there when I was there. No, that came, but you remember it. Okay, so this gym, it was a By tiny Gardner. dinker. It was a dinker gym, yep. but they had a sauna. Yep. So oh, we would, nice. me That's and Dave Bear would be like oh, overweight, and he, it was just me and him. And do they still make gator gum, Gatorade gum? I haven't seen it So in a we while. go that 7 Eleven, yeah. and we buy orange Gatorade and gum, and we would just, we would go in there in plastics and yep. just sit there. And I remember <laughs> they had their own it scale. Just fit. Dude, That's ask great. Dave That's about so me. Much. Ask Dave. Dave knows who I am. Well, they're, they're, like you said, this Dave one, knows who I am. The band, I they should know who I am. There's something special about power and the wrestling. Oh, dude. Yeah. Was, you know, You're basically family already. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's like, just the stuff we're talking about. Yeah. That's that's wild. Bro. Okay, so I'm getting off topic because we've yeah. talked about an hour we, about we, Poway. We, we I want to get into your MMA career. So yeah, so, okay, yeah, so go okay, back. Sorry, Russell sorry. College, Cal State. I could talk to five hours about Poway. But, I know I can okay. get into the Poway. But are you surprised oh, that I remember this shit stuff? I'm shocked, but anyway. Okay, okay. Was your house okay. haunted by? Oh, that's another story. It's, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. It was an old house, yeah. old I, country I, house. You know, I know. I'm talking about like that's crazy. I was there. I was freaking there. Okay. Okay. Wow, trivia. But uh, <laughs> Cal State Fullerton. Okay, good. So good, finished good. off Cal State Fullerton. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. the MMA stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, it was pretty it was successful there. 
And I would train in the off season with the fighters. Fighting was coming up. Yeah. I would kind of they had jujitsu. I was going in and out just to keep myself in wrestling shape. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really cool story how I got into it. One of my wrestler buddies like, hey, come to this. They opened up a place um, in Temecula, and Cal State Ford and I drive back home on the weekends because I had a kid, I had a son, real young. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'd drive home to see him, mm-hmm. and I'd come through sometimes the Riverside way mm-hmm. to Temecula. There's a fight gym there, Team Quest. Okay. So I stopped in it. It was kind of just training, a lot of fun. There's an Indian guy there, native, yeah. Indi- and he goes, hey, you want to fight on the res? I'm like, just told her, I'm like, what? You know, I don't know. Oh, dude, like a smaller car? Yeah, like a smaller, the like, they had the fights on the reservation. Yeah, 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 It was yeah, yeah. wild back then. It was old, so you didn't know who you were fighting. Uh, the was guy it fought, all bare knuckles? Uh, no, the, they're wearing gloves, but it was still just, they switched my opponent three <gasps> times. Yeah, fighting. yeah. This guy who was three weight classes, bigger than me with 35 fights, and he's jacked on stereo but you know it wasn't good i yeah yeah you know and it was like so foreign to me right now i told all my buddies to come and yeah pulled yeah, out the yeah, women anyways yeah, yeah. The, indian, the indian guy offered me good off tap he offered me a fight i'm like i don't know he's like hey you get a, a thousand bucks for and a I'm fight like, your first fight first fight what weight division i want 185 180 what weight is that i wrestled and uh, it's middleweight i started off oh, it's I, middleweight yeah okay. i fight at welterweight now though okay i go to welter, I okay. go to weight class below now but um, middleweight then and mm-hmm. college wrestled 184. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now I fight 170. Uh-huh. But anyways, he asked me to do the fight. I kind of pretty much said yes, thought about it later. But I'm like, hell, I'll get paid. It'll be yeah, a cool yeah. one-time story to did tell you, the kids. Did you wrestle? Did the, he? No, I mean, did you like... Oh, but here's the fun. I, I wrestle I, mean, my, I, mean, I wrestle all my fights. Okay, tell all me my, tell me see, the first my fight. First, my first fight, I stand up a little. In the, the first round, Dan Henderson comes back and says, JT, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Dan Henderson, the MMA, MMA legend? Fight. He was the one who coached me and got it, me into uh, MMA. I was Dan you know, Henderson, the MMA yeah. UFC legend. I, co- I, I followed him, trained with him every day. So that's who that's I was. Amazing. I was Shout just a young kid. I was showing up. Shout out to like, Dan Henderson. Yeah, Dan's the man. And I would yeah. train with him every day. Yeah. And the Indian guy offered me a fight. And, mm-hmm. I, and he goes, I remember he was there. He's like, oh, I didn't know you were fighting, Jess. So like, you haven't been training that much to be fighting. I'm like, yeah, it's cool, you know. And he was in my corner. And I was so pumped to have Dan Henderson. You know, because I looked up to him too, especially back then. And he was in my corner, and we he trained did, together. Yeah, power wrestling in your blood. Yeah, the power wrestling. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I, but the first round, I did a lot of stand up. Went back to wrestling. Haven't looked back since. You know, sixty three late fights later, wrestling is what I so use all the time. So you incorporate the octagon. You do like Greco Roman. Oh, yeah. Well, to this day, though, people ask, "Hey, where do you get? You know, where do you come? How did you get so good at wrestling? I don't know, whatever." I go. Originally, Poway Wrestling. I mean, because that's it was. It all started there. You know, like, I would never have been who I was. That's the goddamn truth, wrestling. right there. That's like so. basically becoming a part of the military or something. Yeah. Right? There used to be a documentary or movie. I yeah, think there yeah. has been, but it's not like a real one, you know. But uh, yeah. But uh, was started there, there. Was there a guy like? I'm sorry to bring back Poway High Wrestling. Yeah, oh, that's the best. D- during your season, was there a guy rec- like who recorded all the matches? And at the end of the season, he like came up with this bundle package where you could buy. Your oh own. yeah, we uh, we had a. I don't know if it was the same guy, but we had a. We you had, had a, guy. a guy too. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I would love to find those tapes. I know, by me the way. too. The reason why, I would cause, love. Cause I wanna, I, I at the time I, I was against them. it because I'm like I choked at state. I choked at state. Yeah. I don't want to watch it. But I had some pretty damn good matches on. Oh, that. and my. Um, Cause he, cause he. <laughs> I know. I want to find because he was at CIF. He was at even Monta Vista. Did you have El Cajon? We had El Cajon tournament. Yeah, that was yeah, a big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Monta Vista. Monta we Vista. Had, uh, did you have? You, did you have Reno? They didn't See, have Reno. See, that came after. Reno was fun. We took us out to Reno. Yeah, yeah. We had a good time. That was actually above five counties, right? Because it was like it was. Pennsylvania people. Oh, Reno. oh yeah, it was, wasn't there? So at the time, it was the best one. It well, was explain, national. Explain to them what the Reno, Re- Reno t- tournament, tournament of champions. Tournament of champions. Is. Yeah. Well, they even have a college tournament right after the high school one. Uh-huh. But it's the best schools at that time. Was the best schools in the nation. Mm-hmm. Pretty much show up to this tournament, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it's the best schools and Arizona Ari- schools. Arizona schools, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania was good. Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Um, Ohio schools, yeah, California, Nevada, yeah, 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 uh, all well, a lot of schools. What about so Battle Florida. for the Belt? What tournament is that? That one's a newer one. That's Temecula. Temecula. What's that called? A Battle for the Belt. And Battle they, for the they belt. get belts and they win. They're, that's a but, solid tournament. But that's like five counties, isn't yeah. it? Uh, it's up there. Five counties, I think, is still still up there. Still up there. It's still dude, really um, up there. No, okay. I want to go back to. I'm sorry for always going back to Poway and our our uh, our arrivals, but back then you mentioned Calvary Chapel. But I also, oh, this is before Buchanan, but I also want to bring up Selma. Yeah. And Clovis. They're, Selma's See, back. Clovis. Selma's doing they're real good. They're back, right? Well, and they're, yeah, they're a lot of tough Mexican Yeah, 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 yeah. Real tough. 
Oh, Cisneros is from there. Yeah. All these other cats were tough yeah, guys. Yeah. But was Clovis a factor? Clovis still a factor. We, okay, we, so we I wrestled of... the kid my semis or quarterfinals. Yeah. Because we didn't Cal- really bump Clovis into Clovis guys until those types of tournaments. And, and Clovis, too, they have it in elementary school. You know how yeah. they have Twin Peaks? Yeah. Like the kids wrestle. They have it for elementary school in the school district. The kids, you know, third, second grade. Yeah, yeah. This already. kid was good. I ended up beating him by a point or two, but I remember, uh, you know, like there was a tunnel for uh, – you know, like in the gymnasium before you go up to the the mat. The tunnel for state. The tunnel. No, the five, tunnel for five counties. The tunnel for state was. Uh, oh, crazy I, I too. don't want to talk. Uh, yeah. Let's not talk about let's that. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, the tunnel for five counties. Um, I just remember this kid. He was in his Clovis, you mm-hmm. know, his whatever his warm ups, and like I was just looking at the school colors, and I just remember he didn't. Because sometimes I like to size up my opponent. I would do small talk. Yeah, yeah. I should have done it for a state. That's when you should do it. Yeah, yeah. Is you, you kind of like get in their head. Oh, I hate Yeah, so you I was always saying? quiet. But guys would yeah, come talk yeah, to but you. But you know, it's hey, psychological. How's it going? But yeah. I tried to do that with this Clovis kid. And he would, I remember he was he look at eating <laughs> um, that blue extra winter mint gum. Yeah. And that's all I could smell is his gum. Oh, no. And he chewed the gum during our match the whole time. Yeah, I was like trying oh, to take him annoying. down. Yeah, and then, that gets to you. That gum. Do you ever have this? He was too? good, man. <laughs> was good. And you remember I, that in the match? I the, remember that. It's I ended like up the fight. The you kid, remember stuff. But there's certain. Did, did Branston or Trello do this? Where there's a certain kid, just for a particular tournament, who's not from California. Oh yeah. Some state champ from that. Colorado yeah. or some five phenom, counties other school. But you they but you're you had to uh, you 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 had to wrestle them yeah. quarterfinals, semis, but they didn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't this, have did they have the bracket sheets up? No, but th- th- I'm telling you, there's certain opponents where right. you didn't know you didn't who know. but they were like national champs oh, yes, or of course. rank one. They didn't tell you how good they there's were. There's this kid, this black kid who was like six, he was a phenom and yeah. he cut weight for one oh three. Yeah, and I didn't know who he was. I thought he was just a normal kid, and, oh, and I remember. I, know those I remember, dude. I, I, uh, fireman carried him. That was my move. I flo- like fireman carry, and yeah. then I headlocked him, and I had him like you know twice. Yeah. I, and then he was coming back, but I beat him by a point or two. Yeah. And was I was stud. gassed. Yeah, I've had. The, yeah. I was gassed. Like, who was, was like, that guy? Gas. And then Toretto. <laughs> I remember Toretto came up to me. He goes. Steve, you know, Steve, you weren't supposed to beat that kid. Good job. You know who that was, right? He was so yeah, I remember those matches. ranked, number one ranked kid from that state. Now, did Man. you have to deal with stuff like that? Oh, yeah, all the time. We had a, I remember the guys too. Uh, we, we had a guy from Santa Ana. I wrestled, he was a yeah. tough guy. But I remember the, all the schools around. We had a Clovis kid, but I was a Calvary guy in my way, a Santa Ana kid. Um. Uh, there was a state champ kid, Vacaville or something. Was, no, Oregon. that was a good school too. Was Vacaville? Vacaville yeah, Vacaville. Vacaville was. Were they from Modesto? I don't know where they're from. But yeah, they're, I had that with five counties. They're like black and yeah, orange. I, I just uh, remember. He was, but Branston didn't tell me that this guy was. He was a, good, was right? State, returning state champ, S- uh, and he was so happy when I beat him. I thought, like, why is he so happy? And it was a tough match, like the um, northern section, yeah. just champ or something. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Well, he's a state champ. He was a state champ. A state champ. But well, you didn't know. But I didn't know it was because I was. I, I was. I didn't look it up. Yeah, I, just, I saw the name. I didn't yeah, know who it was. Yeah, you didn't know who it was. And how'd, you, actually, how'd you do against him? I, I beat him. Get this. You beat him. But I beat him the first match. But he came back. I got fourth. Remember? He came back for third and fourth. Oh, I upset he, him. He, he. I upset him in the semifinals. He fought in the constel- quarter, 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 consolation brackets. Yeah. Because I lost in the semi, so I had to both fight, fight back. We met again. So you're for going third for the lowest you could get was sixth. Exactly, and we met again for third or fourth. Oh, and he beat me with third or fourth. Right. But I beat him the first match. It was a yeah. close match, the second one too. I believe, but uh, yeah, I remember. Man, that's just you know what? It's just talking to you, man. It's just so many memories. The wrestling like, stories, even wrestling though we're not even the, the same like year or yeah. whatever. It's just man, I could talk. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry for. Let's go back to your. Well, we can have this wrestling stories yeah, yeah. alone. Oh you know? yeah, alone, alone. Um, so you won. Did you so win I that got it from wrestling? I got right in without. A lot of people take time. I pretty much went college level wrestling, you know, nationals. Three months later, I'm doing a fight. So I learned, it was the old school days. I learned as I went. Instead of yeah, these days, yeah. people try to have an amateur. We didn't have amateurs. So or they go to a camp. They go to a, they, they do, they train for like 
three years. They go to they Winkle John Gym, year, like then in then New they, Mexico yeah. or something. Yeah. Well, I had, I had Team Quest, so I was lucky. Right. And then when I moved back uh, close to Poway, it wasn't too far of a commute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's where I started under Dan Henderson. He was my mm-hmm. mentor, Jeez. my number one guy. That's he was really imp- after my first fight. I somehow pulled it off. He goes. That was pretty good, Jess. Keep coming to practice. You know about you know? Dan? He fought in Pride also. He fought in Pride, yeah. I mean, that guy days. is seasoned, man. And he was you one know? of those guys, like a typical, he was very, he was, but you wouldn't really, you would see him, you wouldn't think he's anything crazy, you know, like those wrestlers, you don't, He had deceiving. a weird style, like his shoulders and like yeah. the way he like fought and stuff. But I'll tell you what, out of anyone I've trained with, sparred with, he hits the hardest out of any, harder than heavyweights. Oh, he had that overhand yeah. right. Even to this day, he's slower, but he has power. He, oh, no, no, no. That would knock power. a lot of guys out. So you won that first res fight. So I, I won the res fight, and that's when I was hooked. I was like, what the hell is it? I threw up after the match, but it was just incredible. I had my friends TKO? there and family. Uh, I went decision. I won a uh, majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unanimous yeah, yeah, yeah. decision. Yeah. Um, and uh, I had everyone there, and it was like foreign back then. Everyone's like, oh, you're doing what? And everyone was there. Like, to this day, Were more, you there? Okay. You didn't go. You didn't okay. go to it. Everyone was there. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. you were there. Was it on the res. So Bubba. I remember going to the res. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, so everyone, every, but, what, what but was everyone the, was there. What like, was the difference between that and winning a wrestling match like CIF or Masters? So I tell everyone it's very similar, but the fighting's even more. It's like it's like times ten. It's the, that same adrenaline, that same, but it's but even you're more. Hit, you're getting a hit. Fight. So it's even more like hold. This is. A joke, really. You yeah, know? yeah, be hurt. yeah. Um, you mess up. So, but I was hooked. I did one, and I thought too. I, I didn't think I would make it a career. Yeah. I thought you know, and then uh, I just fell in love with it, and I was still working on the side a couple of fights later, and I Were got. You I, at the gym. I was working training? at a. I was Where working at a gym. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I was at a regular gym too, like LA Fitness or something. Mm, that's I was fine. doing yeah. personal training yeah, too, and of course. Uh, yeah, that doing sense. that, yep. and uh, I had a son young, and I just kept fighting. I loved it, and then I finally I quit. I remember I quit. I'm like, oh, I'm making enough. Like an artist, I was like, I'm finally making enough where I don't even have to work. I could just fight. Yeah. And once I actually, it's like I made that decision. Yeah. Two months later, they call me. I had a good fight with this guy who was known for the first time, the Ultimate Fighter. And that was Ultimate Fighter oh, season you're, seven. You're an old, you're I was on it twice. Oh, and wow. And here's this. This is what another power. This is the Poway controversial thing. Yeah. I don't know if Dana White had a thing with me or what, but no one's won as much fights on the show than me on the top. I never lost on the show in the show. What was it like being, that's that reality show, show too, right? And when I, talk, I loved it. You know why? You lived at the house I lived with at, them? They, they put you in a house. You're isolated. We're all, oh, we're, I'm definitely going to well, watch it now. All, I didn't know you were We're isolated now. So yeah. we're isolated from society. You're cut off. Um, no reading, no outside communication, train, eat, sleep. Everyone asked me, you know what? But and for the actual fights, I loved it. Because yeah. it was like, it was, I was cornered off. I had, there's a train, eat, sleep. Guys are breaking. They miss their girlfriends or wives. Yeah. I loved it. I was like yeah. in a camp and there's yeah. no outside distractions. Is that the one me, that Nick Diaz was? Uh, Nick Diaz was on one. Nate Diaz was on one of them. Nate. And Nick. I think they both. Oh, Nate was on one. Nate was, coach Nate was on. First. Yeah, who's your coach? And so the first season was I had Forrest versus Rampage. It was Forrest oh, um, wow. versus Rampage. And then it was controversial. Forrest Griffin. Forrest Griffin. He's a legend too. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Him that fight with him and Stephen Bonner. Yeah. yeah. Legendary that, fight. That fight yeah. made UFC. They said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was a barber. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. For base. sure, for sure. But uh, Stephen Bonner and yeah. Forrest Griffin made the UFC what it is today. And so how? What was it like dealing with Dana White and the UFC? Dana's great with Dana. And the Dana, Lorenzo brothers. Lorenzo. Well? Dana. Yeah. The thing is with Dana, he's a, just a businessman. He, yeah. If you're good for him, he loves you, and if he can make a dollar off you and it hurts your career, he'll do. He'll do what it takes to make money. Mm-hmm. You see it with the champions today. You know, he's just yeah, a total. Yeah, yeah. And that's where the whole story kind of began. I got on the Ultimate Fighter show, won all the fights. Do you get a contract after that? You get a contract. Well, this is where it gets crazy. I was the only fighter ever. We go out in Vegas. They kick me off. They kick me off the Ultimate Fighter. I won all the fights, and they kick me off Why? the show. It was a, this is a great story. Well, it was a bad night in Vegas. It's just, it was a crazy yeah. night in Vegas. I was do, young. Man? I was young and dumb. I, I didn't, to this day, I did a lot, but nothing crazy to at the same time. They saw a story and they ran with we're it. We're drinking? We were drinking. Yeah, I was drinking. Um, it starts off uh, the were night. the girls involved? Or? Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's just say, I'll tell the truth. Were there strippers involved? Yes. <laughs> well, I, hold up, hold up, hold up. the whole story. I, I'm dying to hear the story. Go ahead. I won't cut there you off. Ni- so the story the media knows, the second night they take us all out in a limousine, um, we're messing around. We go back. I'm, I'm kind of cutting the chase. We take us to a club, whatever. We come back in the limousine. We're all horse playing, wrestling around with other fighters in the limo. There's a window, security footage. 
I had these red Nikes. It's funny, kind of. At the time, it wasn't. I kicked the windows out on the security footage. Run around, just being a drunken fool in a uh, hotel room. Mm-hmm. Um, in a ho- not a hotel, a hotel in the casino. Made a fool, I, I guess, I was running around. I was being wild and crazy, running yeah, around the yeah, casino. Yeah. Um, kind of like the hangover. It was being a little wild. Like, yeah, but nothing right. But nothing where you would think, because even the limousine window, they tracked me down. I remember it. I'm like, hey, I gave them money. I fixed it. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like, who, okay, you know. Who are you there with? The, so after the show, Dana White gives us the speech to the fighters too. He goes, okay, guys, you're going to go out in town. You've been locked up for six weeks um, you know, on the show, and we're going to go out to town, and you guys be careful. And the night before too, he gives us chips for the strip club, uh, Spearmint Rhino chips. And each chip Ooh. is like a hundred bucks, and it gives us like twenty. Yeah, yeah. Another guy, another guy there had the bright idea of exchanging the chips with the girls for other things. It was just a wild time. Yeah, uh, in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, the show goes by, uh, and then also at the show, never drank on the the show. I drank one night. They edited it to make it look like I was drinking every night. So they kind of had their own. Anyways, I go back. You can't tell your family and friends what happens on the show where you're sued for $10 million. So you're in a lot of trouble. Um, of course, you want to tell some maybe close family and friends. So I'd say, hey, I did really good. I'm going to be in the finals. And the guy I had in the finals, I would have, I was on my team. I trained with him. Yeah. I smashed him. I was just way better. He wasn't a wrestler. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I destroyed yeah. him. I matched up so all those guys. He's got he's in a mirror so doll. He yeah. won season seven. Anyways, I was supposed to fight him. They call me back for follow-up interviews. And I sound okay, so I show up. There's camera right away. I see cameras everywhere. I'm like, why are they doing this? You know, I already won won all the show. I go, and I see Dana, Rampage, and Forrest all sitting in a room. And I'm like, this is not good. And Dana brings up the and, and they're showing this on national TV, mind you. And then they show up the the security footage. They're like, oh, is this you? They see my Nikes hit out the window, and they're kicking back and forth. And I was like devastated. Um, I'm like, shoot, you know. And I couldn't tell anyone. And everyone would keep seeing me win on the show. JT's going to win it. The first, they had these uh, fight nights in Poway at, uh, it was called McKee's. Remember McKee's? Little, no, I don't remember It was this little bar. That. I had these fight nights. I had oh. the whole town there. Oh, the wow. The whole town would show up. Remember the fight nights walls there? The whole was town it, would show up. That was up. off Pomerado? Where was that? No, it's over in Forest Ranch. It's Forest Ranch. See, that Forest Ranch was after me. Like, that, what, that was Forest That Ranch? was Artesian. Black Mountain, where everyone would go party. Back. Oh, oh Artesian. Dirt bike. That's Artesian. All oh. built up now. Okay, so Artesian, we take Artesian and go to the beach. Yep, but exactly. The side, right by the 15, El Camino. Or, uh, no, yeah. that's, that's exactly where it is, that area. Okay, I know where that is. Camino del Norte, yeah. But back then, it was just a dirt road with barbed wire fence on yeah, both sides. Exactly. Okay, I'm just letting you so know, back then, there was no houses. Is totally built up. I, actually yeah, I, might, I sound like Clint Eastwood, like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> back in my time. <laughs> Wait, go ahead. But it, it was, so, so that <laughs> happened, and it was... Um, Devastating in the sense because they, they people kept seeing me win. I right, couldn't right. tell anyone, hey, and they would pay me money to show up at this bar. They pay me. I was they were paying me three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, every drink on was on them. Everyone in the whole bar wanted to buy me a drink. It was a, t- a learning experience. Yeah. Um, so I had this go on, and uh, but why it was the good and bad. But what what happened is it made me controversial. And everyone wanted to fight me. So from there, I went on a tour, kind of this world, and fought in all these countries. They ended up having. Uh, I would beat guys, right? Never get the call back to the UFC. Because they Whoa. had this thing. Finally, though, they had this second ultimate fighter called Redemption. On, so they... Skip what, did I, what did I skip through? You met Putin. That's oh, that's definitely part of the story. So in this Putin? time... You met Vladimir Putin? In this time of traveling, because they made me controversial from season seven, it kind of blew me up. So I ended up being more famous than the other guys. Because, yeah. Oh, I'll JT. The guy yeah, drama won all those sells. fights. Yeah. And he, uh, he got kicked He's off a wild the man. It never happened. So everyone wanted to fight me all over the world, and it made me internationally known. Dang. And from there, it was really cool because I fought like everywhere, like all these weird countries. I had this fight. Uh, one of my favorite stories, I had this fight in Russia, and it was closed off event, like blood sport style, like only rich Russian oh, like noblemen oh. and Putin and these bodyguards. And these. And there was like 10 of them was out on the sea. On this, It was exotic and crazy, and it was Russia versus the world. Um, Russia and we, on my team was U.S. guys, Canadians, yeah, um, Brazilians, mm-hmm. kind of Russia versus the world weight classes, and uh, damn, that's he so was crazy. supposed to win. Anyways, Putin's there, and after the fights, I, it was a cool story too because they, the Russia, won every fight. The only fight to win was somehow I, I won my fight. So and uh, I took this, I took the microphone to after I said uh, in the Rocky speech, I was, hey, like Rocky, if I, I said, hey, if I, Rocky if, Four, I told the audience there was like twenty people there, but it was shown on Russian national TV, but like a closed audience. Wow. 
And I said, hey, if I can change, you can change. We can all change. That's You're like Rocky, Rocky. Bobo. <laughs> I said, everyone doesn't speak a word of yeah. when you got it. And uh, anyways, Putin comes around and shakes our hands after the fight. And I was so happy because he's shaking all our hands. I won the fight. I was pumped up. And these Russians, even the guys that win, they're just like normal, you know, like no emotions. Yeah. Know? And uh, he's shaking all our hands. And I grab him. He's a little guy, smart guy. Strong, tough. You could tell like because he – this judo, but yeah. anyways, I pull him, I pull him into me for a hug, like a homie G hug. And uh, we go back and the KGB guys underneath there, there's like, they have these aprons and they showed me the gun. They're like, yeah, you can't do that. You know, like it was okay, but we could have killed you. So oh yeah, it was God, nuts. That's and crazy. The, and there were stories in between there. But yeah, I was the main thing. And the long story is they finally had me back for Ultimate Fighter 25 mm -hmm. Redemption. That's why I don't hate what happened because the, the second one came back and I won it. And there's a lot more money at Damn. stake. And uh, it That's came full crazy. circle. But it took me 10 years to get there. And yeah. for 10 years, they had never called me. I kept winning. They had never called me. But they had this show and wow. came back. And, and, so, and, and won the second show. And won the second show. And then what happened? Yeah, yeah. What happened after you won the second show? Oh, so time? I won the second show. <laughs> Things are good. What what season is this? What Ultimate Fighter is this? I was on two. So season seven and season 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, season 25, I won Redemption. TJ Dillashaw was my coach, and he was worth... Wait, Dillashaw was Dillashaw your coach? Dillashaw versus Cody uh, uh, Garbrandt. Garbrandt. And they hated each other. There oh, was so I know. Much drama. I saw... Yeah, yeah, there yeah. There was drama every day. And they that. hated each other. They hated yeah. each other. Um, so I win it then, but I'm telling you, sometimes the country controversy does not escape me. So I win the show. Everything's good, you know. I was at UFC. Right away, they want me to do... Um, another fight. Mm -hmm. um, there's this thing called. They have this thing you saw that now. Mm -hmm. They drug test. They do this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Um, they come. I I did a couple of drug tests. Everything good. Then they did another one for this fight because we're doing this fight. And it comes back and it's had. They said, hey, you have residuals with this stuff called clomiphene. What is I go, that? I go, what the fuck's clomiphene? I don't know what clomiphene is. I I I. I uh, no, he had someone else, but he had clomiphene. Another thing. Yeah. So long story. And these guys get cleared. John Jones got all these guys got cleared. Yeah. So I had a level, a little bit level of a clomiphene. So they suspended me for a year. I had no idea what this is. I think pretty much, I think it came from a supplement I was taking. But the whole thing why it was frustrating to me because it was such low levels. It wouldn't have done anything, and it was also um, off, off uh, season. Like not nothing was coming oh up. Oh my god. So there'd be no re trace residuals. But it wasn't all bad here. So a year a year goes by. They're like, okay. They call me on a week notice to fight in Russia again, ironically. Again, Russia. Against some killer. But I've been doing, again, let me, I have this whole career, I've been doing fast notice fights. People call me because I had a name. So people would call me one week, three weeks. And, you know, I, I just won the Ultimate Fighter. And I still, yeah, I'm like, you course. know, I'm not going to go do a week notice fight over in Russia. I, you know, I'm just not yeah. going to do it. Um, I, even though that, that stuff went down, I'm still valuable to the company. I could, it's a good story. I just felt I came a long way to do a week notice fight, to fight some killer on five days yeah, notice. It yeah. didn't look good for me. So I said no to the fight. I'll just do another fight. Uh, about a month goes by, and I get my walking papers. They release me. So now I'm a free agent again. I fight with this show called oh, ACA. Oh, wow. Which, but that's kind of the... Uh, what about, I thought Bellator, was, maybe Bellator? Uh, that's it. We're, we, we, we've been talking to them, and we could probably yeah. sign up. But right now I'm with ACA. Okay. Uh, they're paying me good. Uh, we're, I mean, Bellator, we've got to do contract stuff and all that. Yeah. But that yeah. was the UFC story from, from Power crazy. Wrestling, though, you know? That's where it all started. And we're already done with the the, thing, the, the time just flew by. <laughs> it was the Power Wrestling. Yeah, it was the Power Dude, that it was, was, the power that was wrestling. amazing. We could have kept going with the Power um, Wrestling. So, like, now is the time where, man, I want to plug you. If you have a website or your Instagram or your Facebook or upcoming fights, or if you want to plug your gym, now is the time to. To do cool, that. thanks. Well, no upcoming fights because uh, our friend Corona yeah. canceled all that. So mm -hmm. I had one April, but it got canceled. But uh, I made my Instagram, Twitter, uh, JT Money mm -hmm. MMA, uh, a Facebook fan page, Jesse Taylor MMA. Mm -hmm. um, don't have a YouTube or a podcast. Uh -huh. but hopefully soon, Steve, want to get maybe yeah, a yeah, this YouTube was, channel. Yeah, this, yeah, this is yeah. always a start. You, you should you you should do content of you training. I gotta learn how to yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. That, I gotta. I have this website guy too. I gotta talk to, but I want to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Just sure. Uh, do, uh, so, uh, what about your gym and stuff? Did you want to? So I train. I teach at Tenth Planet. Uh, there's one oh. all over. There's some in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, uh, now. Um, and I fight for ACA. I was supposed to fight April 24th. So your jujitsu is off. Like you're learning all I that. feel like especially the last couple of years yeah. because I, I've kind of found a way to make a little bit of side money doing mm -hmm. it. Everyone with the wrestling background, it just, yeah, yeah. I feel like my jujitsu is very good. Does wrestling help your jujitsu? Yeah. It's funny because believe it or not, yeah. it definitely helps because you have an advantage over everyone. But at the highest, highest levels, 
you gotta just learn it like anything. But once you kind of learn it, all the years of wrestling, very advantageous. Oh, yeah, it's huge, okay. huge. And you know how to take everyone down. The jiu-jitsu guys don't know how to take down. Oh, they right, don't right. Take down. They don't. They don't take you down. So it's great for MMA. Yeah, they just go to their yeah back. So if oh, you're aggressive with so it, so you they can take like their it. back. Yeah. Oh no, they go to their back. Oh, they, they go to their back. Yeah. And for MMA, I always just, wondered like, that because like I was trained. I was always trained to stay off your back. Yeah. But then, like, they pull guard and they're, like, on their and back. And even me, I, I, I play with it now because I've been doing it jiu-jitsu yeah, now yeah. for 20 years, too. Wow. Are you black so, belt? Yeah, black belt. Oh, wow. Under Eddie Bravo, actually. So. Eddie's been on here. Really? Yeah, Bravo's been here. Yeah. Eddie's funny, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, a, yeah he's, a, he's a fascinating dude. Yeah, he's a character. Yeah. All sure. right, well, it was an honor having you, dude. Yeah, man. You're always welcome Thank you, here. Thank um, if you, you know what, I, I should do another Poway. Uh, the Poway one's another, great. I, mean, yeah. I love the Poway haunting and history, the tradition. Yeah, yeah. And going uh, back to the native. We'll I thought talk after. If you have any native. suggestions, maybe, you think maybe Ian Dobby would want to come on? Or I don't know. maybe Dobby somebody, would yeah, love it. Or someone else. Someone Dobby's else that you think would be too. a good fit. Yeah, Dobby would be yeah. great. Yeah. Um, so we have a Patreon attached to the show. Uh, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Our newest patrons are Dalton Weinstock, Bree D- Travis, and Fawn Huang. Uh, I have an EP called Old to My Pops on my bandcamp, StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. Uh, go to my website, StevieWeebyShow.com, if you want to get a t shirt um, or this uh, Lil Ray's World hoodie. Um, Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. Uh, my uh, music video is almost done. It should be out th- at the end of this week or next week. That should be done. Little Ray might be returning uh, soon, maybe on Jeremiah Watkins. Tune in for that. If you want to send stuff, even though we're in quarantine time, uh, in the future, send your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. With that being said, hey, man, elbow. Yeah, elbows now. Yeah, we're out of here. Am I the first one during the... Uh Pandemic? Could it be on the... No, no, you're like the third. Oh, okay, nice. We're still doing it.